Okay, now let's eat together. This is the salad. Hola, welcome to another episode of Under Your Back with Salads with Tiffany. If you are a first time viewer, hello, my name is Tiffany. I'm a full time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing you food, lifestyle, mental health content by way of deep dives. Because people are trying to unbig their back for the summer, I was like, let's go ahead and make some salads because i've been making salads for like 10 plus years for dinner so i'm doing something a little bit different today um our salad is actually going to be a base of a coleslaw blend and then we're going to build on top of that i am doing this on a whim so just vibe with me here i think that it's going to be very delicious very crunchy and very satiating okay let's dive in we're going to start with our dressing i am going to blend it up um, I'm going to make a Caesar dressing. Now, granted, some of these ingredients are going to be a little bit different. I am also not making the mayo from scratch, but it's still going to be good. Okay, I have my mayo, Aldi, and then I still have this vegan um, mayo, so I added this as well. Then you're going to add some anchovies because, yes, anchovies go in Caesar dressing. I am going to add some garlic. I buy my garlic already peeled, girl, because ain't nobody got time for that. A little bit of Worcestershire Cherie. <laughs> Some, oh, dang, oh, that is a lot. This hole be getting on my nerves, y'all is so big. So I might got to add some more mayo and water to balance that out. Some lemon juice. Just to um, balance out all the fattiness from that mayonnaise. Usually you just do um, Parmesan cheese, but I don't have straight Parmesan, so I'm using my mix that was in my last salad video. And then I'm gonna add some pepper, and we're gonna blend her up. Anchovies. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're just little baby fish. I'll just put it in there. And you let, yes, you finna, you finna blend up a little baby fish, y'all. Put that on top. think it needs a little salt you definitely need to taste as you go when it comes to salad dressings because you will mess around and not have enough salt not have enough flavor this one wasn't as salty as um these like caesar dressings can usually be i guess because it's not heavy on the parmesan and parmesan tends to be very salty in my opinion so I did need to add a little bit of salt, but it also could be because I'm using the Tabitha Brown um, vegan mayo that kind of like maybe isn't as salty as regular mayo. So I added some salt and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up a little bit more. That's good. That's perfect. If you find that your food is too salty when you're cooking, you want to add acid or water um, because that will counteract the saltiness of the food. So with this, I could have added more lemon juice or more water since I have both in this salad dressing. Now let's build this salad. So I got my coleslaw. I already had some coleslaw that was dressed um, the other day. And that's gonna be kind of good because it's gonna help make it like not too too crunchy you know if that's what you're worried about and it's going to break up some of the fattiness of that um caesar dressing and it's going to add a little bit of vinaigrette because i did use a vinaigrette for this coleslaw and i'm just going to actually empty that baby out we'll be adding more carrots judge your mother <laughs> And some colorful peppers for some extra, extra crunch. And more colors because the more colors we have, the better as far as like the salad being visually appealing plus the nutrition because we're going to get that vitamin C. Then we're going to add some cucumbers. Cucumbers are great for our skin and hydration with its high water content, which is perfect for the summertime when it's hot outside. Okay, now that we got all of that out the way, it's 
some shrimp. I use, I actually use Tabitha Brown's um, Sunshine Seasoning, which is not that great on its own, but when you add lemon pepper, it is a very good seasoning. So I'm going to add these shrimps <laughs> to the salad because we need our protein. And then after that, I am going to drizzle some of our homemade dressing. I'm actually putting some of the sauce on the salad as well, which is going to uh, be so good. This is so bright and colorful. This looks like a Thai meal with all of the colors. And then um, after the dressing, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of croutons. I'm really in the mood for like some bread bread. I got some shibata bread that I want. Is it shibata, shibata? Girl, let me know in the comments. I got some shibata bread that I wanna add um, with like some avocado on top for like a little avocado toast. But I feel like with this, I really do need that crunch from the croutons. So I'm going to add a few croutons. Oh, Lord forgive me. I almost forgot to add some salt. The thing about salads is you really gotta make sure you layer on the seasonings because vegetables, like salad vegetables, are really is really just a solidified water child. So you got to add your seasoning. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some more black pepper. Okay, now let's eat together. This is the salad. Mm-hmm, yeah. Got a kombucha to go with it. Seal the deal, right? Good gut health. Ooh. Hear that sizzle? Mm. Mm. Always wanna shake it up, although it's, you're not supposed to shake it. Okay, let's get our first test. Oh, so bright and colorful. Mm. I really like that it's not too creamy. I'm glad that coleslaw was already dressed. Mmm, the pepper? The pepper just came through in that bite. Mm. I actually think I just need a little bit more salt, but other than that, this is good. So, I'm gonna eat my food so I'm not choking on my food trying to talk to y'all. And I will catch you in another video. Until next time.